guys and girls again. I seen one girl today driving a pretty badass Dodge Diesel, so I'm always going to include them. Uh, now, if you're tired of your valve cover bolts uh, looking like, you know, normal valve cover bolts and you want to hook it up, I have a suggestion for you. Let me show you how uh, I did what I did with mine. And if you like it, cool. You can do it to yours as well. But this isn't the end of my idea until I perfect the actual uh, nut head, bolt head, because I'm thinking about different custom wing nuts, you know, uh, for this application. So for now, I'm going to show you one that has, that be using the Allen bolt heads. Because that's what I've been doing kind of lately, using Allen bolt heads in a lot of things that I'm doing. I did videos on all of these. All right, so let's get started. Take off the bolt, you're going to notice a couple things. One, you have this rubber washer, which can easily be taken off. And then the other thing is this sleeve that's on this bolt. Doesn't look like it's going to come out. So there's a trick to getting this out. Don't even try to just sit there and grab one in one hand and the other and try to pull it apart because it's gonna, it's gonna trick you and it's not gonna allow you to do it. Thing is I took off the rubber washer, took it off from the front, okay? Gently attached a vice grip around the uh, sleeve. Don't wanna go too tight on it. Matter of fact, let me make an adjustment grip on the end of the sleeve and this and holding it in one hand I put a pair of pliers to rest on the back of the bolt head and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gently tap on to that or I'm gonna do a quick tap on the edge of the pliers one second all right so here we go I'm gonna get a rubber hammer and I'm gonna tap it right there It came out see it's weird if you try pulling it apart it's just not going to come apart all right so that's how we take off the sleeve off the bolt my local bolt place over here in south florida it's called broward bolts and it got me an allen head got me a stainless steel of course it got me a washer so i'm going to put the washer the washer on first one second all right, so I got the bolt. I'm gonna put the washer in first, and then I'm gonna put the sleeve on, and then I'm gonna put the, the rubber garment washer, whatever you wanna call it. It's gonna to have to go this way. Be careful in putting it on. Make sure, put some pressure on the end over here and just push it in. And that's it. Now we just, Put it on the truck. Surprise, surprise. Guess what? I don't need no sponsor. No, sir. Do you know why? Because I keep it real, baby. I keep it real all the time. <laughs> now, if you have any problems in putting this back in, just turn the sleeve, take it, the sleeve off and turn it around.
and when you're turning it, you know, to get it tight, you know, it's not a Hercules type situation. There's no, no specific torque. It's just you'll feel the end. That's like the end of how much you have to turn it. All right. course the one in the back is gonna be the funnest one to do Small turns in tight places, what are you going to do? Kind of like reminds me of when we did that bypass coolant, that fleece bypass coolant gadget behind the head over here. Man. I got a video on that too on my channel just check out my playlist I got a lot of videos on doing various stuff on these trucks with the engine for performance and you know ideas for the exterior and interior all right now for the last one This is a 10 millimeter socket, by the way. That's all you need to do this job is just a 10 millimeter socket. So there's the after looks looks cleaner right I think so too now remember this is just the beginning because uh, like I said I want to come up with a with a wing nut with a design small not big not gaudy but small uh, so I would have to get the bolt without a uh, head and just the screws and then find the right uh, custom wing nut that I want to put on but for now, this looks pretty cool. It looks it looks better than that old busted ass uh, bolt that comes with it. What do you think? Thumbs up or thumbs down? All right, you know the deal. If you got any questions, comments, don't be afraid to hit me up. If I know the answer, I'll definitely uh, get back with you with it. And remember, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do. Uh, that's how you that's how I keep you know doing what I'm doing if you guys are supporting me by just subscribing all right take care be cool